Pisces, and given its druthers, it will rise in some of the fermenter. And Saccharomyces pastorianus, which is larger yeast, that bottom fermenting yeast. The way I tell my students to remember this is, take the last four letters of Pastori Armus, and you'll get bottom fermenting yeast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, and there are not, not desperately large numbers of variations of larger yeast. Okay? They're very unusual. And the belief is that there's a larger yeast arose melding together of Saccharomyces cerevisiae with the wine yeast Saccharomyces baianus. And somehow they parted together, you know, soft light, music, whatever, <laughs> all these years ago and got together. Very unusual. There are other organisms as well that are used to uh, make beer. And of course, there's a lot of interest in uh, funky beers. <laughs> um, and of course, uh, the, the type is, uh, is the uh, is the lambic style from Belgium. There's more reverence for beer in Belgium than anywhere else I know. I was at a friend's house uh, a number of years ago now. He said, uh, what has got to go down in history is the most stupid question of all time. He said, would you like a beer? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, what do you got? So he told me, and I said, OK, I'll have that one. And he went away, and 10 minutes later, I said, where's my beer, Guido? He said, I'm trying to find the glass. Yeah. Even in his own home, he would not give me a beer unless it was in the correct glass with the correct emblem for that beer. <laughs> that is reverence. I get sick of drinking Budweiser out of the Guinness glass. And <laughs> vice versa. Okay? So that's the least you can do, is to actually put beer in the correct container.